Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, I want to talk a little bit about SoFi Technologies Incorporated. Once again, this is ticker symbol SOFI, the exact same ticker symbol as the name of the company. It's nice and easy. Um, and the reason we're talking about this one today is that, hey, Today was actually a green day, at least so far. I'm recording this intraday for SoFi stock. Now, yes, currently we are only up 0.38%, but uh, it's been kind of a crazy day. You know, intraday, we were all the way up to $8.24. It was looking like, um, you know, we had a, had a chance to have a very, very big day for SoFi. But um, as with many stocks in the stock market right now, you know, this is not just specifically SoFi, um, but it's hitting SoFi pretty hard um, that all run-ups are, are just being devoured. You know, anytime things run up, people are looking to sell off because they think think uh, for a lot of companies and, and maybe overall for the world economy, the worst is yet to come that um, there's just so much uncertainty and so much fear in the markets and everything right now um, that it is just a little bit risky, a little bit scary. So even though we saw SoFi maybe wanting to go up today, maybe wanting to reach new heights, um, we've kind of flattened out. But hey, again, we're still in the green. Being green's better than being red. In this video today, we're going to be going over all the latest for SoFi stock, letting you guys know everything that's going on. Um, so yeah, definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. And subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest content. Uh, as always, of course, no financial advice being given in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy, not telling you to sell, nothing like that. Um, just giving my thoughts and opinions on some of the news and stories. With that being said, let's get right into this. So what was kind of weird today is, you know, I, before I checked everything, like I, I just kind of opened up my accounts, look, looking at the markets and stuff, um, I saw this. You know, this is a pretty good day in the market overall. Like, yes, oil is, is getting beaten down. It seems like it just keeps going down and down and down. Oil probably got a little um, overinflated for a little bit, but the indices are doing good. Dow Jones up uh, almost 1.5%. S&P is up 1.5%. NASDAQ's up 2%. Uh, now, yes, the Russell is kind of lagging. It's only up point. Three, two. Uh, and it is kind of unclear to me, you know, whether SoFi is going to follow the NASDAQ more closely or the Russell more closely or the S&P more closely or whatever. But um, when I saw a 2% update in the NASDAQ, I was like, uh oh, uh, is SoFi going to be up 3, 4, 5%, 8%? You know, they've been so beaten down recently. I was expecting this to be a really, really big day for SoFi and, and many stocks like this. Um, but again, not really the case. I mean, I guess as we're recording this video, things are going up, things are turning around. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, SoFi is underperforming the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ today. It is outperforming the Russell, but uh, that's about it. Right now, we sit at right around a $6.5 billion market cap. We're just a little bit off the 52-week lows, um, but a long, long, long way to go for those 52-week highs. And uh, some big news came out today. So, Getting into some of the stories, um, SoFi Hong Kong releases robo investing. Um, you know, they're talking about auto investing in a nutshell, diversified portfolios of over 13,000 stocks across 35 countries with exposure to equities, bonds, or gold, uh, controlled risk through rebalancing. Automated monthly recurring investments are optional and beginning with as little as a hundred dollars, uh, which makes obviously it very, very accessible to pretty much everybody. Uh, they say you just have to fill out a three minute risk. A profile questionnaire, an RPQ, to determine which portfolios you can invest in. Create your investment with a portfolio picked by Auto Invest. Uh, ensure you have sufficient balance. Obviously, you can also convert uh, the Hong Kong currency into dollars in the app. Input an amount for initial contribution. Set up those recurring monthly deposits, and then give it a name, and, and it just it just goes. You know, obviously, for a lot of people, investing and, and getting into the markets and stuff can be um, overwhelming. It can be intimidating, whatever the word is. Uh, and by having a system that's just going to hey do things for you. Hey, you just put your money in and, and hopefully get to watch your money grow over weeks, months, years, whatever. This could be really, really cool. And this could break down a lot of the barriers, um, you know, for uh, kind of the retail investors or, or new retail investors or people who are kind of on the fence about wanting to get in or not. Uh, and obviously that could be really, really good for a lot of people, which I always think is great. But then also uh, it could be good for SoFi as well, obviously being an extra revenue stream, getting more money uh, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, people are people are excited about this. It's a cool new feature to see. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, this is this is definitely some good news. Again, it just seems like SoFi keeps making these little quality of life changes here and there, keeps bringing out new features, keeps kind of innovating, keeps putting stuff out there. Again, this isn't like a crazy new idea. This isn't something that SoFi invented or it's not anything insane, but it's nice to have. And if you want to be, uh, you know, the Amazon of, of fintech or whatever, or, or the AWS of fintech or, or whatever they're saying, um, you know, you got to have the full portfolio. You got to have the full suite of features and, and, you know, getting there over time is going to be very, very good. Obviously still one of the bigger features that people are asking for is options. And we think those are probably coming sometime within the next couple of years, but um, Hey, it's cool to see like this uh, stuff like this rolling out. 
Another very, very big thing we have today, uh, and this is very, very good news. I, I know we've been talking about this a lot. We've been talking about this like every video, um, but each time it happens, I do think it is a big deal. And people are wondering, hey, is this going to keep happening? You know, is he going to keep buying the dip? But yes, CEO Anthony Noto bought 19,000. 42 shares at 784, you know, it says today, but this was yesterday, uh, marking the fifth day in a row that he's purchasing shares. Now, I know each time people are like, oh, you know, that's not even that much money, especially to a, a billionaire like him or blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, but uh, this is a very, very big deal, I do think. And again, it's him putting his money where his mouth is because he could do nothing. He could even be selling right now. He could be jumping ship. You know, he could think his company's overpriced and he could be trying to dump off some shares and get some dollars and, uh, you know, make that conversion. But he's not. He's spending his money on shares of SoFi. He believes that right now these prices are a good buy. He also believes he is going to have a good return on investment on these shares over you know, X, Y, Z, however many years you want to say, maybe it's a short term, maybe it's a couple years, maybe it's five years, maybe it's 10 years, who knows. But uh, obviously, this is a guy who does seem very, very passionate and very, very excited about his company, uh, and also really believes in it and believes in it, not only in general, uh, as a company, but also it, it believes in the stock at, at these prices, which I think is a very, very good sign. Um, and again, yes, each time, you know, is he really putting in that much money, especially relative to his entire net worth or how much money he has? No. Um, but again, I, I do think it is a good sign that he is still buying he's buying the dip once again and it's dipping and dipping and dipping and he's buying and he's buying and he's buying he's being more aggressive um so yeah i, I think that's a very very good sign um, and then we have, you know, just people talking about stuff like this in general, you know, the fact that they refuse to sell a stock if it's at an all time low, when the company is rapidly growing, they are beating earnings, and the CEO is buying the dip daily. These are three things that people are very, very excited about this. Um, you know, I, I think this is cool. This is good. And yes, I mean, I think it's also nice that there are people on the SoFi stock subreddit talking about how, yeah, they're not going to be these investors that are going to buy high and sell low. They're not the people who are buying at 20 and 25 talking about SoFi going to the moon. And then now we're here at $7 or $8 or whatever company largely hasn't changed. Um, but uh, you know, people are now having a way, way, way more negative sentiment, uh, than they did say six months ago. But overall, I do think the biggest story. And one of the things that people have been talking about the most is the stock based compensation, the overall share dilution of, of SoFi. Um, you know, they do have the, the thing Things like this where um, SoFi, you know, stock compensation as a percentage of revenue it is very, very high up there. 24%. That is massive. And when you, you know, compare it to other fintech companies like Upstart, 8.6%. PayPal, 5.4%. You know, SoFi is way, way, way above these guys. I mean, that's triple, even the second highest, uh, at least on this list. I'm not exactly sure what this list is comprised of, um, but it's crazy. And, and people have been very, very worried about this. You know, hey, stock-based compensation is getting a little bit out of control for, for SoFi. Uh, Share dilutions getting a little bit out of control for SoFi, but CFO Chris Lapointe gave a very, very great statement. Again, hopefully this ends up being true, but either way, this should go a long way. And I don't believe that the market or investors is really reacting to this yet. I, I think we could be lagging a little bit behind this news. Uh, Chris Lapointe here as well says we expect longer term that our he says sock. It's just typed in incorrectly. I hope our stock based compensation as a percentage of revenue should come down. And not only come down, it should be in line with our other peers. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean it's going to be 8%? Does that mean it's going to be 5%, 3%, 2%? I don't know. But he is talking about it coming down over time. They are focused on that. They are That is a goal of theirs. And also being in line with their peers. Not just coming from 24 to, to 20 or 15 or 12 or 10 or something getting it more in line with the other competition. And this could go a long way because this is one of the major gripes people have against SoFi right now. This overabundance of stock-based compensation, this overabundance of share dilution. It has people worried and it, and it has, it's just a big concern uh, in a lot of investors' minds. But the fact that Crystal Point was able to, able to come out and give the statement, I think is great, great, great news. And I don't think the market has reacted to it adequately enough yet. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about SOFI. I'd love to hear guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.